Today we're making DIY storage boxes. This is a fun way to reuse old cardboard boxes and scrap paper you might have laying around. And it'll also help you organize and declutter different places in your home. So, what do you need? Put your paper or construction paper in the color you like. If you're using black, the Mod Podge may leave glue spots behind. I solved this problem by covering up those spots with decorations. A pair of scissors, a sponge brush or regular paintbrush, a cardboard box. The size depends on what you plan to put into the box. I plan on putting notebooks and stationery into mine. Scraps of decorative paper or designer paper. Step 1. Using the butcher paper or construction paper, wrap each side of the box by putting glue on the paper with a sponge brush and then pressing it against the sides of the box. For extra paper hanging off the corners, you may need to fold these like you would gift wrap paper. Step 2. Once you're done wrapping the entire outside of the box, you can also do the same for the inside of the box. It's up to you. This is also a good way to give your kids a project by taking scrap paper from other crafts and letting them decorate the inside and the outside of their own boxes. You can cut out shapes or cartoon characters to make it more fun. Step 3. Imagine how you want your box to look like, or what kind of color scheme you want, and the theme's going to be. Once you decide on that, start cutting individual shapes and decorations out to decorate your box. This is the part where you want to cover up any blemishes you might have made from folding or gluing on the paper to the base of your box. I used flowers, butterflies, and quotes from this designer paper packet I had laying around. Step 4. This is optional, but to make it easier to find, you can label the outside of your box. I used a Cricut to cut out letters that say stationary and glued them onto the box. But if you have really nice handwriting, you can easily use a permanent marker to label it. There you go! A super easy way to recycle old boxes and spruce up any messy closet. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win. CVLGA.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.